confirm whether an internal IRA investigation was held into Maria Cahill's allegations that she was raped by a member of the IRA and subjected to interrogation by that organisation. Mr Adams apologised to any victims who were failed by the IRA but again denied there was any cover-up by Sinn Féin. Earlier, Maria Cahill met the Taoiseach and said he had listened sensitively to her story while Mr Kenny described her as courageous. The Taoiseach and Maria Cahill emerging from government buildings after meeting for over 90 minutes today. So sensitive, um, very compassionate, um, switched on to the issue. Inside the doll, a heated leader's questions, all focused on the Sinn Féin leader's handling of the controversy engulfing the party, with the Taoiseach complimenting Maria Cahill. This is a, a courageous, confident, a brave young woman who's a force to be reckoned with. And he drew an analogy between the Catholic Church's handling of sexual abuse allegations and the IRA's own investigations, a theme taken up by the Fianna Fáil leader. The most powerful men within the IRA interrogated victims of abuse at the hands of leading members of the IRA. That happened. The most powerful men. And the most powerful men conspired, conspired to protect the abusers. The Taoiseach turned up the heat on Gerry Adams, asking whether Maria Cahill was required to meet her rapist and three other men. Gerry Adams repeated his previous admission that the IRA dealt with some cases of abuse themselves. There may be victims who were let down or failed by the IRA's inability to resolve these cases. And as Uchtaram Sinn Féin, I want to apologise to those victims. And he switched the focus to those who may have dealt with Ms Cahill's claims, leading to some confusion. You have heard, you have heard Maria Cahill's story. And all of those who from Sinn Féin have met with Maria Cahill accept and acknowledge that she was abused, accept that she was traumatised. Now, she then puts uh, a particular uh, version of Thank what you. occurred. Will you listen? Will you? Will you? Will, will you? These, these are not nameless, anonymous people. These are decent people. Thank you. Will you meet with them? I find it absolutely uh, unbelievable that you would come into this House of Parliament and say that a man who raped a woman, who sexually abused her, is a decent person? Sorry. Outside Leinster House, Maria Cahill derided Gerry Adams' repeated assertion that he was not aware of an internal IRA inquiry in her case. He knew that there was not only abuse as an issue but an IRA investigation. I discussed it with him directly. You know, Gerry knew about it. I met him from 2000 right through to 2006. I mean, we weren't discussing his teddy bears. He knows exactly what we were discussing. With a dull debate and a Rochtus committee and justice ministers on both sides of the border continuing to highlight this controversy, the pressure for Gerry Adams and Sinn Féin shows no sign of abating. Sandra Hurley, RTE News, Leinster House. Well, our political correspondent Martina Fitzgerald is at Government Buildings tonight and joins us now. Martina, where's this story going tonight? Well, first of all, we should say that many people in Leinster House were taken aback by those exchanges during leaders' questions and by the intensity of those exchanges. And Sinn Féin really still in a position eight days on of having to explain its position in relation to the Maria Cahill case. Now, separately, we should say that Sinn Féin have said that uh, in relation to Gerry Adams' comments today that uh, the Taoiseach should meet with people they're saying that he was not referring to the alleged abuser, he was not referring to people that may have taken part in the alleged inquiry, he was referring to high-profile members of the party who Maria Cahill has spoken about in public. Uh, but you can be sure this issue just simply isn't going away and we now know that the Dáil is going to debate the matter on the 4th and 5th of November. OK, Martino, well, of course, the...